Hello traders, welcome back. I'm Orlando and today we are going to learn how to upload uh, trades manually. Last time we learned how to upload the entire trading statement onto your Edgewonk journal, but today we are going to learn how to do it manually because the journal uh, is a big part of your trading and it is going to be a big part of your trading and after every single trade you need to, uh, you need to manually upload it. And the reason is because you have to be uh, looking at your journal every single day and at least once a week to go through all of your past trades. But that's going to come in further lessons. Right now, I'm going to show you how to uh, upload one single trade manually. And as you can see, we have dropped down a little bit, but we are still up uh, about 2%. So now uh, we are going to go and click on the journal tab of the Edgewonk journal and uh, you can see that we have all of the trades here and uh, as you already know the only setup that we have on the uh, on the Edgewonk journal right now is test because uh, on the next lesson I'm going to teach you how to create your different setups all right so we are going to add a new trade and to add a new trade you, you just go here you click on add a new trade and you get the trade right here now, uh, I deleted one trade. I uploaded the entire list again, or uh, the entire statement again, and I deleted one trade, all right? I think, uh, yes, it was today's trade on the uh, Euro US dollar, all right? Now, uh, let me just go here on the history, uh, and uh, we have the trade right here. I sold 0 0.27 lots on the Euro USD and got stopped out for a 48 uh, 0.87 uh, dollar loss. All right, so uh, all right, so I've divided my screen into. On the left, we have uh, the uh, the uh, my MT4 platform uh, with my live account, and on the right, uh, we have uh, well the H1 journal. All right, so we are going to start this uh, uh, well this process to manually upload the trades. And the thing is that you need to do this every single time you take a trade. What I do is that, uh, for example, here on the bottom, you can see that uh, that uh, uh, the uh, US dollar versus the Swiss franc trade is in, um, in, um, uh, in black. That's because it's an open trade. Uh, when you win a trade or when, the, yeah, when you have a loss, the trade is in red. When you have a, a win or a profit, the trade is in blue, uh, in uh, green. So uh, what I do is when I open a trade, I I go through half of the steps that we are going to go here. And when the trade closes, either at a profit or at a loss, I uh, finish with my journaling. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to do the entire process. So the entry date, I took that trade uh, at uh, uh, today at uh, 120 at um, uh, 129 uh, that's a uh, broker time of course uh, the time uh, the instrument that I traded is the euro versus the US dollar you should have it already um, uh, but if uh, if, it, if it is a new journal you have well you, you you're going to have to type uh, the instruments when you upload the um, uh, the statement the setup again we are going to use test because uh, on the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to put your setups on. So this was a sale trade and you click here on sale and my entry price was 1.1086. So you put on your entry price, then uh, the quantity, which was 0 0.27 lots. My stop loss was at uh, 110.041. Uh, and uh, my targets uh, were at 110. All right. Um, then uh, this is what I do uh, on on uh, when I take on the trade. Let's say that this is a new trade. This is what I do when I take the trade. All right. And uh, if this is an open trade, what you're going to do is you're going to click here on save. All right. You're going to click here. At the bottom left, uh, the bottom right of my screen, you can see the bottom save. But because this is a, this this uh, trade already uh, closed at a loss, 
we are uh, after after we finished um, uh, with the entire data of the trade we are going to click save and mark trade as closed so the exit date of the trade was uh, uh, today too at uh, 157 that was a quick loss that I took on the euro versus the US dollar and uh, uh, so, yeah uh, it hit my stop loss because uh, I normally don't close manually my trades either at a profit or at a loss because it affects your long-term profitability uh, so I took a loss of uh, minus 48.87 uh, right uh, you don't have to put on the, the fees. I'm sorry about that. 48.87. Uh, All right. And uh, 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 that's right. And you can buy, you can take, and uh, you can put on a personal note. And this is important after because when, uh, when, we, when we go to the, co to the lesson on how to analyze your trades, these notes are going to be very important. For example, a note that uh, I took on that trade for, and this is this is the uh, actual position that I took that I got I got uh, ticked out. Uh, one personal note can be uh, a stop loss too tight, and uh, uh, and uh, also uh, another personal note is going to be um, that the setup was not uh, developed. All right. In the sense that I took, uh, I took that um, uh, I took this trade when price was testing these highs without a real high, uh, without a real high had been printed yet. So setup not developed. All right. So those are my personal notes, and I'm going to flag that trade because I ignored uh, one of my entry rules, and I'm going to click on save and mark as, as closed. Then I'm going to go ahead and look at the trade. All right. The trade is flagged right here. And uh, uh, if I go to my journal, you can see that now uh, the trade has been logged into my winnings, uh, into my PL. And uh, right now I'm, I'm up just 0.90%. Uh, so that is how you upload manually a trade onto your uh, Edge One journal. Now, um, uh, follow me to the next uh, lesson and I'm going to show you how to create setups here.